given his testimony in the House that there was no basis for his decision to create the school board task force in the absence of the letter from the National School Boards Association, and given the National School Board Association's apology and retraction of that letter, would the Attorney General be dissolving the school board task force? Astonishingly, he said he would not, which kind of gives up the game that this was never about safety for educators or school board members. It was all about chilling parents' participation in the decision-making process that they were aggrieved by, a decision-making process that often embraces pseudoscience, that is reactionary, and that pushes critical race theory, which causes people to hate each other as a consequence of their own skin color or the skin color of the other students or the other professional staff that work in our schools. The other note that we've heard a lot about is hunting and self-defense. And I would just note that the Second Amendment is not about hunting and it is not about self-defense. Our founders believed to, that to curate the right balance of liberties in our country so that it would never become necessary to engage, God forbid, U.S. troops with firearms from our citizens. But if we maintain a well-armed citizenry, that creates a balance of liberties and it retards a tyrannical government from being able to be overly forceful against our citizens. So uh, I hope we'll understand that historical framework when debating the Second Amendment. If there are those who think we ought to repeal the Second Amendment, that we don't need armed citizenry to maintain liberties, then let's debate on those terms, uh, not with these sort of uh, paper-cut assaults on the rights that our citizens enjoy and, and that I believe are, are granted quite explicitly in the Constitution. And let's also hope that as the American people evaluate the actions of the Department of Justice, they see that a piece of evidence can be the basis for a policy. That evidence can be debunked, and the policy can persist nonetheless. It, it harkens back to the Russia hoax, where there was this you know, big lie that Donald Trump was a Russian agent, and then that animated all this activity from the Justice Department that impaired the liberty of Americans, and it seems as though they're continuing on that trend, but now instead of targeting Donald Trump, they're targeting parents who love their kids who show up at school board meetings, and the Attorney General made clear today that he intends to continue doing so. I yield back. The gentleman